Ah, guys, I hope that you all have a safe and wonderful day as you go out and have fun and celebrate with your family and eat good and have fireworks and everything. Me and Blake are here today. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make a really, really cute uh, iron-on toy bin. Uh, this toy bin, we did find it at Five Below. Um, it looks nothing like this normally. It looks like this. And it's a foldable one. So it comes just like this, and you have to fold it. They have instructions on how to do so. And it's really, really cute and really easy to um, make because usually you can't iron on things like that because uh, you can't really get a good press on it, good pressure. But with this being foldable, it's really, really easy to get good pressure. So while I'm plugging this in, <laughs> Blake, let us know where we've got people visiting from, what, it, what everybody's got going on. Uh, everyone's just saying happy 4th of July. People, uh, Melanie Ooh. said that she has missed us all week. Oh, I, well, Melanie, you must not have been here. We were here. Uh, we were here. We were here. Um, I'm sorry you weren't. Maybe you were busy. I totally understand that. People are busy. That's why we, as you can tell, aren't really doing our lives as we schedule them at 1.30 p.m. Eastern because summer hours are a little crazy. So please bear with us, you know, when you guys ask us, so are we not going live at 1.30? Uh, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. We do our best to go be live at 1.30 Eastern, uh, but if things are going on or maybe Tanner's out of town or me and Blake do have other things to be doing, sometimes we have to, you know, mess with those hours a little bit. But for everyone that takes time out of their morning to watch us, hello everybody, thank you so much for joining and happy, happy 4th of July. I hope that you all have a great, great day. But today, like I said, we're going to make a cute little iron on bin and this is one of uh, the bins. It's from Five Below. I'm pretty darn sure. We've had this for a long time. It's from Five Below. It was five dollars, I think, here. And it's called... Do you like Five Below, Rachel? I do like Five Below. I've only been in there a few times. Um, but I think... I, so I have a theory, Blake. Mm -hmm. And it's that some things that you get at like bargain stores, like the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, mm -hmm. I think sometimes they jip you. Oh you know? yeah, they definitely do. Like, like so the candy I think at Five Below is a little more expensive, and then that makes up for like the yeah. chargers that are five dollars. I, I agree. You know? I agree. Like some things, I and think they're jipping you because you think it's a bargain store. I think that's how they're like, oh my gosh, right. I'm getting a deal. Yeah, getting a great deal here. <laughs> but my mom's biggest uh, regret, and actually Joseph uh, is the one who told mom about it. Uh, Mom used to get her bleach at the Dollar Tree because it's bleach. You know, you clean with it, whatever. Right. Well, she was paying a dollar for what looked like a gallon of bleach, but it was only three liters. Mm. And Mom was just like shook about it. You should have been there. It was hysterical. But she realized they were jipping her like a whole other liter, and she was still paying a dollar for it. So Joseph was like, Becky, no, you have to go in XYZ to get your bleach or something. That's I forget so where he told her, but it was funny. But anyways... I do like some of the things they have at Five Below. I feel like it's a really good place to go and get some cute little home decor things like oh, yeah, this. Like some blanks. And stuff. Absolutely, they've got a ton of blanks. They got good phone cases, uh, cups. They've got great pillows and blankets and all kinds of stuff. Bins like this that are perfect for cricketers. So definitely go check that out. Um, but this guy was just five bucks. It's a felt folding storage bin. It's eleven and a half inches by fourteen by nine inches tall. So this is perfect. Uh, for what we are going to use it today, which is kids' toys. Now, you can use it for whatever. I do like that it says play the day away, so you can put, like, board games or whatever you want to in this, and it folds down really easily. Um, so we love this little guy here. So we're going to be using a really cute file from our kids' collection today. That was a couple collections ago, but like I said, guys, we're sprinkling them in all around here. So you will not... Um, you will not forget about all the awesome cut files we have. We're sprinkling them all in. We had some 4th of July from the 4th of July files we had a couple of years ago. So we're definitely doing that. But before we get started, because it's 4th of July, we have an awesome, awesome sale today on the membership. If you want a yearly membership, if you want to get crafty with us for a whole year, go get that. It's $20 off using the code MAKE. That's M-A-K-E at checkout. Go get that, guys. You guys will absolutely love it. We have over a thousand cut files, 160 fonts. Our yearly members get those fonts as well as three free e-courses and a free commercial license. And every membership tier also on top of the cut files gets um, awesome printable guides and access to the member only Facebook group which has 3,000 like-minded crafters. 
We have a ton of online trainings and we try to come to you guys every day with some kind of crafty goodness. And if you enjoy the videos you see on YouTube, you will 100% really enjoy that membership. So go get that. And we also have uh, the same sale that we've got going on for our amazing Become a Die Cutting Pro class. This is for, the course is for the Cricut Makers, Cricut Explorer 2 users out there. And we have created over 20 projects for this course, guys. You get an ebook, okay? And this sucker is 160 something pages. It's a monster. And you get access to that forever, guys. So whether you're a brand new cricketer or you feel like you know everything there is to know about your maker, you would be surprised and you will get a lot of awesome value out of this course. So definitely go check that course out. We have it printed in black and white and in color here so you can see the difference, but the quality has not changed whether you print them out. And I would recommend going to like your local, like when I was growing up, the library would even print stuff for what? you. What? They would, yeah. We could go to the library. I didn't realize UPS printed until Tanner. Did. Yeah, you could go to UPS, uh, Office Max, Staples, or things you can like do it that. Digitally too. You can just keep yeah. your digital copy. Yeah, and one thing that we all love about the digital copy is it's interactive. Uh, there is a table of contents, and if you just want to like tap on the title of the project, it'll take you right to that title in the digital version. That is a big plus, but. Our members absolutely love the printable guides that we have, and this is one that we did get laminated and bound at UPS. Um, but you get a ton of these guys, and this is not just the only one. It's got blade charts, guys, easy press temperatures that we use all the time. So much good stuff in here that you will use every single day. Um, we have a blade, a blade, a sizing chart for your decals for shirts. People are loving that as well. But definitely go check out the membership um, if you haven't already. And if you're a monthly or six monthly member and you want to upgrade your membership, please go ahead and do that. Take advantage of the $20 off. Go ahead and upgrade and then send us an email that tells us you upgraded so we will stop payments on that monthly, six monthly charge for you. So definitely do that. You guys will not be sorry. And also, last announcement, then we're going to get crafty, okay? <laughs> the summer summit is coming up. It's this month. It's like three weeks away. It's the last weekend. Weekend as in Saturday, Sunday, not Friday, Saturday. But um, 10 classes over two days, five classes a day, and there's a ton of projects, guys, because each class, some can have one project that really dives into the tutorial, and some can have three projects that dives into all the tutorials, okay? I know personally my classes each have like three crafts in them a piece, so it's so much value over there. It's all virtual, so it's excuse me, two days, like six, seven hours a day. Me and Tanner will be here live with you guys all day. There'll be a live chat box going on. We can talk to everybody, uh, interact with everybody. And the videos will be played throughout the day. There'll be breaks for you guys to go get lunch, to let your pets out, to check on your children and your husbands, to make sure they haven't burnt the house down, all that kind of good stuff, okay? So if you're interested in that, we also have a little 30% off coupon for that using the code SUMMER2. Yep. Summer two at checkout. Thank you, Blake. You're welcome. Definitely go do that. But I even forgot to tell you about the sale on the pro class, pro course. That is using the code pro two at checkout. You will get thirty dollars off of that as well. So lots of sales: twenty dollars off of membership, thirty dollars off the uh, pro class, and thirty dollars off your summer summit ticket, which is coming up soon. Definitely go get that. And if you haven't made plans that weekend, go ahead and make plans. Get the summer summit ticket. But if something happens and you can't attend, no worries, guys. You get those videos forever. You get lifetime access to those videos. So that alone is worth it. The whole um, the whole summit together is less than the price of a hotel stay for like one night. So you guys are really getting a good deal. But Blake, do we have any questions? Jason Call me. said it's his first live stream. Oh my gosh, Jason. Welcome. It's and a great day too. Steve, this is really funny. Steve said, Blake, does she ever take a breath? No, <laughs> and I can tell when I like almost suffocate myself. Oh, okay? and Courtney said, "Miss you." Oh, we Court. miss you too, Court. I miss you so bad, Court. I, I love Tanner, of course, but I see Tanner a lot. I do still miss Tanner, but there's just something in my heart that really misses Courtney. I just cannot wait till she is here Me too. with Me us and Court always build things. for good. I just really want Courtney here. Uh, I hope that this next school year goes smoothly so that she can just come sooner. I just hope these next few months fly by. I just want Courtney here. But, and of course I miss Tanner. I get to miss and Tanner a lot, you know. So it's lonely and quiet without Tanner here. And Tanner and Courtney not here, me and Blake are going to go nuts. I don't even know what we're going to do. I know. We're just going to 
We're just going to be hanging out with you We're, we're just going to get crafty, okay? We're just going <laughs> to That's all we know to do. That's it. That's all we know is just to get crafty. But we're going to use a super cute file from a kid's collection. Um, I'll show you all the whole kid's collection, and then we'll dive into design space and uh, what we're going to be doing in design space. So, Blake, if you want to switch, go ahead and switch angles, and we can show them, unless there's any questions. Is there any other questions? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay. You just let me know. Cut me off. You know. I will. I'll promise to try and breathe, guys. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and breathe. But here we are on the Makers Gonna Learn page here. If you're uh, not logged in, it'll say to log in here, but we're logged in. So we're gonna go over here to Cut Files. And again, guys, only yearly members get access to the font, the free commercial license, and the three free e courses. And $20 off is a great way to go and get advantage, take advantage of that. So go ahead, but we're going to go to the kids, kids collection. It's up at the very top. Oh, right near oh what would I do without Blake? Be blind, that's what. But <laughs> we're here, Cut Files. I love all the little categories. It helps us out so much. And you can also take advantage of this search bar here if you think you know what something is. Or you're like, well, this, this says play. And I, I know that the Cut File says play. Go ahead and just type in the word play there and see what comes up. But here's our adorable kids collection. I forget what, I don't know if this was, this might have been March, February, March. I have no idea. I remember when they released that. It wasn't that long ago. But there are so many really, really cute cut files here. That's a really popular collection. It is a popular collection. Well, it's really diverse too because mm. some of this, you know, you can definitely use for other things, not just for the kids. So today we're going to be using this right here, Play the Day Away. And as you can see, it doesn't look the same as how we have it here on our bin. So of course it's going to take some contouring and everything, but don't go into our cut files and be like, oh, I love this one, but it's just not laid out right. Because there are so many ways that you can manipulate our cut files to get them exactly how you want them. And this is a great, great tutorial on how to do that. This is a really good example. So you can either download it from here or you can tap the whole thing. It'll go onto its own little page here. And then you can tap that download icon or that download icon or button. So you, there's a ton of different buttons you can press. I'm just going to download it. And I have already done this, guys, so I'm going to skip this for today. Okay, I feel like you guys are old pros. We don't need to be doing this every day. <laughs> so go ahead and do that in iZip. Go ahead and unzip your cut file, okay? Add it into Cricut Design Space, and then here we are, okay? You guys are old pros. So there's a big difference about this guy and this guy. So before the live, because you know we like to be as prepared as possible, we went through there and we duplicated this guy four times. Now to do that, of course you just tap it and here's a duplicate button. So one, two, three, and then you have a total of four. So here's your four that looks like a big fat mess. But what we did over here, as you can see, each one is an individual layer because as we did this, we would take one, okay? We would hide contour. We want the word play, okay? So we're gonna go in here to the Hide the contour on the, hide the contour on everything but that first uh, word there. And you can, you, you can tell where I'm going with this, guys. You're going to be doing this four different times total to end up with all of the words in their own layer. And how you do that, oh, look, I messed up, forgot the why. And how you do that is by going ahead and you know duplicating this and then taking it word by word so there's one hide contour and now we want the word the you know we want every other word to be contoured out so that we end up again with all the words as a separate text box now we you can do this several different ways you could slice this all out if you were really impatient you could you know and tanner likes to teach everybody different ways of doing things and that's totally fine uh, I love that um, Design Space is so versatile that you can do things like eight different ways and still end up at the same stopping point. So however you end up, however, do what? Oh, oh, look at me. I yeah, did. you didn't do the D. I, was, yeah. I meant to leave the D. I get to talking, guys, and I'm like, good grief. So, you end up... Um, However you end up in the same spot we end up is fine, is what I'm trying to say if I could even talk today. So, again, you're just going to take this. We want the word day. So we're going to do, we're going to take all the words except for day. Blake, don't let me just keep contouring my heart out this okay, time. 
But Blake, do we have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that? Is everybody following what I'm doing? If they're ungrouped, why do you have to do the contour? Oh, you don't. You can ungroup them. You can hide contour. You can slice them out. That's it. It's, it. There's just so many different ways to do them. So that's what I'm talking about. Don't you just um, like love having them like one by one? Is that why you do it? I do. Yeah, but they're not ungrouped. I did. I did this whole thing for this one. So I contoured all these out, and now these look ungrouped, but they're not. I just contoured them all out. Right, right. But, you know, you're more than welcome to do whatever you want to do. You can't ungroup it. So ungroup button, not even possible. Now, some cut files are possible, some it's not. You just got to get them in here. It depends on its PNG, SVG, or designer. There's a lot of things that go into that. So now we just need the word away. So go in here and just going to high contour on all these little layers except for the last one and this really doesn't take very long I mean you can see it's probably been like two minutes and I've just been flapping my jaws but it's just easy just go ahead and do it this way but a lot of people think that oh, look wait, like right, I need this one need I need this <laughs> one but boom there you go we just did the same thing here now they're each their own um there is their own word here so we already got that one we're just going to erase it so we're going to be moving on with this one. So we want it play the day away. And I really like um, smart guides here. And you can go in settings and have these turned on. This is only for the uh, tablet. You can't, I don't think you can have this on your iPhone. Or you might have it on your iPhone. Maybe it's just iOS. But you can't have it on your desktop or anything like that. Sometimes it's annoying. Sometimes it's not. It just, it just depends. So just get these how you want it i don't know if i don't think i can make them touch except well i can you know oh, that looks that looks not bad does this look okay um i mean it's a little close but see if you can like move it. yeah but like see smart guides those, like so then separate. i turn smart guides off because that's annoying okay separate those out spread it out a little bit more like the two words yeah i don't need smart guides back on okay hang on Okay. How's that, Blake? And then, yeah, move those to the middle. How's that? Looks good to me. Great. Okay. So, this is looking good. And so, when you have it the way you want it, I'm just going to take all these and I'm going to attach it. Okay? You can attach it, weld it, whatever you want to do. But, welding's permanent, guys. Don't forget. So, here is one of the many, many ways you can take all of our cut files and contour them out and manipulate manipulate them to be exactly how you want them. Easy peasy, fun, and it's, it's, it's something that if you get in the rhythm of doing it, you will actually go into our cut file collection and see them in a whole new light. Like you see them all like going up and down. And you're like, I, I don't want it like that. I want it all going sideways. Well, you can do that. That's exactly what we did here, and it really, really looks good. So, now why is this layers thing? Oh, it says it's too large. I get it. Okay. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bin now and we're going to size our bin. So, I'm going to widen it out for you guys and then get our little bin. Well, there's not much little about this bin. It's kind of a big bin. They're but... asking where your ring is, Rachel. Oh, oh, funny story. Not really funny. I'm actually really tired of it. <laughs> um, so, my ring has a bunch of little diamonds. Thank you all for asking. That's really sweet if you guys have noticed. My ring has a bunch of small diamonds in it. It's called a cluster, cluster diamond ring. And... Guys, I don't wear my ring when I shower, when I swim in the pool, when I clean, when I sleep, when I wash my hands. I take them and put them literally like in my lips when I wash my hands in my, if I'm in a public bathroom. I like take such good care of my ring and the little diamonds still want to get loose and fall out all the time. And it's really frustrating to me. So I took it to Kay's and asked him if there was anything I could do. And I have the, uh, the really good insurance on it so like it doesn't cost me anything for them to replace a diamond here or there or fix the loose stones or whatever. So that's not a huge issue, but I just really don't want my ring to do that. So we're kind of in the process of finding some creative ways to stop that from happening. You know, we're uh, diving into maybe getting a bigger stone for the center or uh, switching up how the prongs are made. So I, I just really want a solution there because like, you know, in the future, I don't want to be 
like having my kids and playing outside and worried about, oh, my, you know, my ring, I need to go run inside and take my ring off. I just don't think it's very practical. So the awesome people over there at K's are helping me out with that too. So it's going to be gone for a little while. When I get it back, hopefully it'll be better than ever. But thank you all for asking. That's really sweet. You guys know how much I love my ring and I feel naked. Even though I have these little ones on, I still feel naked. So I appreciate it. Just, just you know, send a little prayer up that, that I can get that worked out. But anyways, guys, thank you again for asking. That was really sweet. We're going to do about 11 inches here because I'm not really sure of how folded this guy's going to look and whatnot. So we're going to do about 11 inches. So we're going to bring our iPad back in here. Bring this forward to us, and then we're going to go to edit, and going to go width, we're going to do 11 inches. And that makes it 5.6 inches high, which is, is that what this one is? Yeah, I guess. It just feels like it's not very high. So, in an instance like this, you're more than welcome to go in here, unlock it, and kind of make this, oh, no, not rotate it. Don't rotate it. Making it a little bit bigger I don't want to make it any any wider <laughs> but how does that look I think that looks I pretty think that good, looks good Rachel. I'm gonna bring it up just a hair yeah I don't want it to be too okay I like it right there that's good I'm gonna lock that back and now we're gonna hit make it and guys you guessed it we're gonna be using glitter, glitter. we didn't have enough to glitter. use the same roll as yesterday so I hate opening another pack but that's okay because we have plenty and we have a good scrap bin going. So just take all that mess off. And uh, what? <laughs> what? Why is it like that? Is it because I accidentally... Oh my gosh. What is it doing? Is it because I accidentally... I don't know. I, I, mm, I don't know. I'm just going to replace it. Well, you know what? We're going to go with it. Cause I, that looks great. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to mirror this guy because we are using iron. That is so whacked out. I don't even know what's it's happening. So funny. Don't even know what's happening. Um, but I don't, I don't even know how to fix it, so I'm not even going to try. I think I just needed to rotate a little bit more, but, you know, whatever. We're just going to go with it. It's not wasting that much iron on. So be sure to switch your materials to glitter, guys. Okay? We've done that. We've made that a mistake a lot. Oh, I remember this Rachel one, every time. and it uh, <laughs> it haunts me, guys. It haunts me. Me and Tanner, um, were, did I put more pressure on that? I did not. Me and Tanner, I had just started like dabbling in the cricket realm here, and Tanner like left me for a couple hours to do some Christmas projects. Okay, and. We had went to Hobby Lobby and got a ton of uh, red glitter iron on. And let me tell you guys, it just wasn't working out for me. Like, I would put it in there, cut it, forget to put it on glitter, and then I would forget to mirror it. And then, like, I was literally having PTSD for months and months after using that glitter and how much we'd wasted. We were like, oh, we only need, like, two rolls of that, whatever. We needed like eight because we kept wasting it. But <laughs> God love our hearts. We got it worked out. They say you can click the image and there'll be an arrow and you can move it around the map. Clip the image? Click. The oh, image. yeah, that's very true. I think I can't go back up to that now. But, yeah, that's true. I'm just not. I just don't have the energy to even fix it. It's fine, guys. Don't it? <laughs> yeah, there's probably several ways you can fix it. But it's okay. We're just going to load this into our machine, and whenever this gives us a flash and cricket button, we're going to go ahead and hit go. But I want to take you guys over here, too, and let you guys see some of the awesome things we have going on. And here's a fast mode for any of you guys wondering. It'll pop up after you load, before you press the flash and cricket button. I don't want to use fast mode. I do not like fast mode. Rachel, turn that bad boy on. I don't do like it. fast do it. mode. Do it. Do it. I think whatever. You should do it. Whatever. Well, yes. I'll turn fast yes, mode on. Rachel. I turn fast yes. mode on. It's not like we have things to do about. today. We're all about fast mode. So, um, here is the button that you can click in the link in the description below. Or Blake can paste that in the comments. Nice. But um, if you want to be a yearly member, on top of all the goodness that you get being a monthly or six monthly member, you get 160 fonts, a commercial license, and those three free e courses we were talking about. And you can see a lot of. Uh, visual 
things here to show you what you get with the different memberships. You can see the price differences here and how if you get a yearly membership, you do indeed get three months free there. Jimmy and that is... Shiny side down, right? Oh, for sure, shiny side down. Yeah, you gotta have a shiny side down. And that's why you'll pay more for iron on because you have to put it shiny side down. But what's included in every tier of membership is new cut files every month, at least 30. There's an exclusive Facebook group, free online trainings, and full project tutorials. The project tutorial site um, or page on the site is my baby. I absolutely love it. And here's this free printable guide we're talking about. Everyone and loves the printable guide. Everyone loves the printable guide. I'm widening this guy out so you can see it a little bit better. But it's got all kinds of stuff. It's got design space terminology. It's got blade charts to show you which uh, material you cut with which blade. It's um, got a Cricut cutting mat chart which shows you what material you should be cutting on which mat, which is really, really good to note too. Sorry, the glitter's not one to stick on that very well. Um, here's the easy press temperature charts and uh, we're using felt today on glitter. So felt, it says set to 270 and peel off warm. So that's what we're gonna set our easy press to. Wow, look at how easy that was, Rachel. Easy what was? We just like looked at it and wow, it just tells us exactly what to do. Oh yeah, and it tells <laughs> you to peel off warm, peel off cold, like whatever, like it, it knows. So we're gonna take the temperature down here. And I'm gonna do 280. I'm gonna be like living on the edge here. So that's Ooh, gonna set to 280. And... Listen, this fast mode is making me a nervous wreck. Just saying. That is so funny. But it's got those. Then we have some more terminology. And then we also have cheat sheets on adhesive vinyl, iron on, and print and cut, which is really, really awesome. We have several of these in the Cricut membership as well. We'll go over here and look at them. So if you go, not to community, not to community. <laughs> if you go to dashboard, and then you go down here to member resources, you can see, let me get in a little bit for you. You guys can see everything you get. There's the printable guide, there's the, um, Maker's Gonna Learn printable guide. There's a Cricut one and a Maker's Gonna Learn one. A collection PDF, font PDF, a which vinyl should I use guide, a decal sizing printable guide, Cricut blade charts, silhouette blade charts. We have so many resources, guys. And for beginners, we have resources for beginners. FAQs, ways to stay connected. Oh, look, the little Cricut thing said your cut's complete. That's cute. Rachel, how fast was that? I don't know, too fast for me. <laughs> I'm gonna say too fast for me. So I'm gonna unload this guy, bring him over here. Let me see here. Now how big is he? I can't see, okay. Oh. It stops right here where my finger's at. So I'm gonna get my Cricut True Control knife and slice right there. Now all this excess can be made into another perfect project. That's a good piece of excess that for us. Piece of That's good. You can use it for a 4th of July. Yeah, make, make a shirt today. It like, won't like take you very long. Like the shirt we made yesterday. If you didn't get to watch that, it was a lot of fun. Oh, wow. There's a lot of excess down here on the bottom where it's a little bit crooked. <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. But, guys, if you want to see this cut file and over a 1,000 more, and you want to start making crafts with them, go join the membership for 4th of July. It's yes. $20 off using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout. Definitely go get that. If you want to upgrade, you're welcome to do that. Terry Any? said that she has been a year member since December and still hasn't been through all the resources that we offer. Oh my gosh, listen, guys, and that's purposeful, okay? We want you guys to have resources and to learn new things through years and years of being, look at that, did that cut off or is that, oh, yeah, man. it didn't cut right right there. Well, hmm. Um, <laughs> we want you guys Rachel. just to have like years and years, what, like? You said, well, Hmm. Well, hmm. I mean, what the heck, man? What the heck? It's way up here on the line. I know, I can't believe it. And like, this is the top. Point. Like, why maybe, would Cricket not say? Maybe the, the vinyl was a little over and it just got confused. Listen. Who knows? Who knows, man? I, I can't. I, can't, I don't know. But we want you guys to have crafty teachings for years and years. We don't want, uh, we don't want you to get bored soon, you know? And with a thousand cut files and almost 200 fonts and the member only Facebook group. And if you're a yearly member, well, you get those fonts and you get the free commercial license and then you get three free e-courses. You'll never be bored guys. And here's the thing too, 
even if you manage to get through all that, we are still all the time constantly making new things to add value to the membership, constantly. So when you, right when you're like, well, how do I know what to size on a t-shirt or how do I know what to size a decal on a baby onesie? Well, guess what? We didn't have that six months ago, but we have that now. You know, we have those resources for you guys. And it's just like a one-stop shop. We have the video um, space on the site now where you can look at all these awesome videos on. We have so many resources for you guys, and we're only trying to get more and more as the years and months progress. So definitely, this is like a one-stop shop for all your crafty needs. It's a lot different than Cricut Access or Cricut Access. We don't... We don't hold anything back from you guys depending on uh, your membership status. We don't, you know, in Cricut Access, whenever you uh, do not renew your subscription, all the projects you made and saved, every file you, you know, have in your little like recently uploaded files, it's gone, gone. And us, whatever files you happen to download in the few years that you were crafty with us, you get to keep those. You get to keep those forever. Now, if you were a yearly member and then uh, canceled, of course you cannot still use that uh, free commercial license because you are no longer a member. But we try to give you guys as much crafty goodness as possible because we just want you guys to be inspired every single day to craft your little hearts out. So that was easy to weed. That was easy peasy. That was. We'll set that over here. And see, that's cute. Okay. Like, do we have any questions or anything? Uh, they're just saying that they love, Terry said that she loves the favorites button. Oh, yeah. Guys, I forget about the favorites button sometimes. That is a really good feature that we have as well. Okay. So I think I want this to be the front. Oh. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. Hang on. Wow. I dropped the craft. Oh, no. Dropped the craft. Oh. oh Picked no, up Rachel. the craft. Picked oh, it up. Rachel. No worries, but go get your membership, guys. Go get your Summer Summit ticket. Go get your um, yeah. Cricket Pro, Pro course. course ticket. Go get all the tickets. You need all the tickets. Because you can save so much right now. Well, you can save $30 on the Pro Course, $30 on the Summer Summit, and $20 on your membership, which is like a steal. They're wanting to know if you're going to fix the E. No, I'm not fixing the E. <laughs> that would be hard. Does this look straight to you, Blake? Um, I think. Uh, tilt it maybe a little bit more. Wow, which way, bud? This way. This way? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's perfect. Is this straight? Yeah, that's perfect. That's I can't see it. I'm looking at an angle. If I get up in here, <laughs> I don't know. It looks a little bit. I can't really tell, Rachel. Last instinct, going here. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's straight, Rachel. We have the, oh my God. It's straight. It okay. looks straight. That's fine. With me. Oh, wait, no, it might not be in the middle, <laughs> but it looks straight. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that's a little bit of a. They're saying to the rod, maybe. <laughs> Steve said no. <laughs> I like it. We're going with it. Okay, easy press set to 280. We've got the easy press mat underneath. Oh, wow. One hit and done with Big Papa here. Make sure you give good even pressure. Good even pressure is good. <laughs> you got to give that good even pressure. Oh, yeah, push it in there. But I love glitter iron on. Glitter iron on is really good. Blake's, Blake doesn't even know anything about glitter iron on. He feels like he hates it, but he really don't. Because it doesn't come off on clothes. He's afraid it's like normal glitter that gets everywhere and it don't. It's like. I've, I've just, I had a really bad experience with glitter a long time ago. This is really, really good glitter though. This is good glitter iron on. I mean, look I'm how just, cute I'm this one bin is. I'm just staying Look how cute. Life. And while we're on the second camera, I'll show you guys all the details on this thing. So here it is. It's a, a felt folding storage bin. Five below. Five bucks. Here's the little thingy if you want to take a screenshot. I know you guys love seeing tags. Look at that tag. Wow. And then it also, thank goodness, gives us how to fold it. Let me get it up here. There you go. 
It shows you how to fold it, which is nice, because I look at this thing and I'm intimidated. <laughs> I hope this. I hope I iron this on the right side. You know. Oh my god. And this says a warm peel. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna check, and I it can was check. Warm peel, Rachel. Huh? It was warm peel. Oh, see, Blake already knows. Let's do it. Peel off warm. Yep. Yeah, see, Blake knows. So warm peel. This is not hot anymore. It's warm. So we're gonna let me zoom in a little bit to give you guys all the value. Terry, your husband uh -oh. is right. There's no such thing as good glitter. Look, it's coming right off. It's oh, not no. nearly hot enough. Oh wait, no, this side's coming off. So that just means I need to hit this guy down here a little more. Push it in there. Okay. Ah, it's on 280. They want me to tell my glitter story. Should I tell? Sure. I don't remember what the glitter story no, is. No, I haven't ever told you this. Oh well, then we need to know the glitter story, Blake. You're holding out on us. So. A few years ago, I was teaching Sunday school, and I decided that one day we would do, I always let them do a craft because they're K through third, so you have to keep them entertained. So right, for sure. I always do a craft with them, or I still do. I just never use glitter. Right. And I had this one really rambunctious kid in my class, and he was always oh. so rambunctious. And one day, we were using glitter, and he took the glitter without me knowing and then like started using it on his his like thing that we were working on. I don't even remember what we were working on. Yeah. He forgot to screw the lid back on. <gasps> like no. And he grabs the glitter like randomly. I had it in my hand. He grabbed it from me and slung it everywhere. It like was no. Glitter. It went everywhere, Rachel. And let me tell it, you guys. It, it, I was, it was all over me. Blake, I bet you were like fishing out of your ears for weeks with oh, Q-tips and it stuff. Was everywhere. And guys, since I had made the glitter tumblers, I never knew how far glitter could go. But like we had these little tiny tubs of glitter, okay? And those suckers would make like ten tumblers, okay? Like little things of glitter. So to know that that big of a thing of glitter, Blake, there, there, spilled all over you? Like, yes. that's a ton that, of glitter. It was a ton of glitter. Like, you don't think of it. We had the big ones. It was like oh. a big jug. He's, he like. said it's like big old jugs. Let me tell you, Blake, I don't even know what I would have done because... Glitter glitter does go far. It goes so... And, and making those darn tumblers it really red. sold me. It was red glitter. It was oh, all... No. It was everywhere. Oh, I Blake. I bet there's still glitter in that room. Blake, I just feel for you. <laughs> so now I feel so glitter, sorry for you. Glitter gives me anxiety, I guess. Well, guys, we're going to put this thing together because this one's together that and it's really, so really cool. cute. And it looks simple. It looks like you just fold up the sides and then, like, weave the handle through. Like, that's all it looks like. But, Blake, do we have any questions or anything like that? Or is everyone pretty good? Everyone's just saying, talking about glitter. <laughs> oh, well, guys, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know Blake had such PTSD or I would never make glitter projects around him. <laughs> Oh no, I think I'm recovered from that. So, I think I don't it, think it's that bad, Rachel. And then just do the other side, right? Yeah. So like you the, don't need instructions. These right? go in first. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Do they? Yeah. Oh, and then you weave them in and out. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, look at Blake trying to think. He knows. Okay. Then this one goes. I'm I want to do one side at a time. Need. This one, and then I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna make these match up a little. Make these match up. Okay. So then I'm gonna shove this through here oh wow, and then just Rachel. push it through here oh my guys that was so stinking easy I'm shook look at that okay one more side and that's it okay this goes in then this one then this one man I bet every one of these they sell people are just like amazed that they could actually do this and it's just so easy okay just pull this through. I think those are so cool. These are really cool. Boom, bam. Wow. Imagine having one of those and you just like put blankets in it. Look at something. this. Yeah, we'll see in the. Like in, in the, a living room or something? That would be so Maybe neat. I did this wrong. I don't think so. I think this one is oh, inside no, you, out. No, you weave in and out. So see how you weave it like in and out? Yeah. But either way, I think that I works think this too. one was done wrong. Either way. See I the think difference? I don't know. Who kn listen, who knows? But here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see these go in first. Then you fold the sides up, then you just weave. Oh, okay. Listen, guys, this isn't rocket science, which I'm glad about. But this is so cute. I wish that we had this color. I really like this one's color. I really I just think it's really like fun. 
It's like a neon yellow, but it's still glittery if you guys and can tell. And it doesn't tell. really look super glittery. Like it no. just catches the... There you go. The See that glitter, guys? But that, this one's cute. This one's cute. This would be really cute for like a boy's room, you know. But you could totally put blankets They're in this. They're saying they would love to store their vinyl in it. Did you say Bible? V vinyl. Vinyl. See, <laughs> my head is like I mean, in could, a great you, place. You could uh, store a Bible in it. I mean, you could talk. That'd you be a could, big you could Bible. Multiple Bibles. But like, the, here's my hands. Like, this thing's a pretty good size. It's I'm deep. just picturing this would be perfect for like children's books and little stuffed animals or little matchbox cars or whatever because it's and in this our thing. Fonts, you can put whatever you wanted on the. Oh, you could put. You could put uh, craft the day away. Craft the day, or you could put uh, uh, the boy's name, like yeah. Taylor's toys, or like whatever you want to do. That'd be cute. But with fonts, you could do. I don't know if we have a font that looks like that. We might. This is a cool font. But you could do your own font too, whatever you prefer. Yeah, whatever fonts you want, because there's a hundred and sixty of them, guys. You know so I love fonts, Rachel. Do what? You know I love fonts. Rachel. Blake absolutely love font, loves fonts, and I love fonts too, but. If you guys want to see about the uh, Summer Summit, if there's any questions about the Summer Summit, it is coming up. Uh, we have a bunch of awesome teachers, and I'll give you guys a little rundown on some of the classes we're going to have, okay? So we've got back to school ideas, party ideas that are perfect for the summer. We've got sew your own curtains. Uh, we have Carly Hall's awesome video on everything you need to know about infusible ink. So if you want to know that, guys, go get Infusible it. Infusible ink is so cool. Infusible, it's really cool. It's real. I like, think honestly, it's honestly, it was really cool. I think it's complicated. So like before I would dive into a bunch of projects, I feel like I really need to know everything I possibly can about it. If that makes sense, like it's the type of thing you don't want to have to test a lot. Like you want to really know what you're doing when you buy it because it's not cheap, guys. And neither are the blanks or anything like that. So we've got that. Uh, Jenny from Jen Something Turquoise is going to show cricketing your own wedding. And even if you're not getting married or anyone that you know is not getting married, this is still going to be a really, really good class to learn techniques that she's going to teach. And you can use her techniques over a ton of different projects. It's going to be really good. Revamp your bathroom decor. We've got front door wooden signs. Um, uh, we need to change that one. That one's not that one. This one is actually a beautiful paper, summer paper flower tutorial with Crystal Thompson. And then I'm going to be making a bunch of printable HTV pillows, which I'm really excited about. So if you want to get that for $30 off using the code SUMMER2 at checkout, you can totally get that. And if you want to go over here and you want to see a little bit about the awesome uh, die cutting pro, I'll show you around this. If you buy it, you will have uh, this right here and you can have the details and if you completed the whole course you can go right here and submit your three projects for your certification you can get certified we will send you a printed signed certificate showing that you are a die cutting pro here are all the videos love the videos and then down here are supporting documents and this is if you are not a member of makers gonna learn uh, but you did participate in this summit, you will get access to all the cut files and fonts that we use in all the projects. And then over here is where you can see your ebook. We love the ebook. I'll show you guys the interactiveness of the virtual one, which is really, really cool. So here it is. Looks the exact same as the other one. But instead of, you know, like flipping through all the pages of the printed one, if you want to go see how to engrave, or excuse me, the I epoxy, boom, it just throws you right here to it. And I'll if you want to... Picture. <laughs> go to the chipboard frame, boom, we're right here at the chipboard frame. It just, it's really interactive, it's really, really cool. And you could have this at your, you know, like sitting on your dock on your maker and just like read it as you're crafting. It's just whatever you guys want to do. Personally, I think I would print it out, bind it, laminate it, just make sure it's there forever. I really like physical copies of things. That's why people make fun of me for loving my DVDs. <laughs> but I love Rachel. I love my DVDs. I just like having a physical something. I don't know. I, I'm super, super weird. It's like I didn't grow up in this in this, you know, phase of phones and everything, digital and this and that. I just don't love it all. So Oh, I miss VHS. Do you miss VHS, Blake? I Do you remember my VHS. least favorite part, and guys, I I hated this, was when I would go when I would go and after I watched Let's say Cinderella, the Disney movie Cinderella. After I would watch Cinderella, 
I would move on to another movie, let's say like The Little Mermaid. I'd pop it in and someone watched half of it. Half of it. Half of it. <laughs> so then you That's it. Go, you then you'd have to it. press rewind and stay there while, <laughs> while it wound it up, wound it up to the front, to the top, whatever. Have you, I ever, mean, have you ever used a pencil to wind one up? Oh, you know, Blake, yes. Of course Good. I have. Because when you see it before you even put it in, yeah, in your like, mind, oh, no. in your mind, you're like, I can do this so much faster than the VCR can. And then you're sitting there, with the you're sitting there you're twisting like, it, twisting it, twisting it, and you're not doing it faster than the VCR. <laughs> you know, the VCR, it goes, wah, you know, it's, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, I loved watching watching it go backwards. You liked what? Oh, my gosh, Blake. That was so funny. Bless your heart. It's just some of those things, you know. But, guys, you need to go get your Summer Summit ticket. That's happening Less than a month. It's like, I forget how. Hey, Siri. How many days until July 27th? It's 23 days until then. 23 days. Thank you, Siri. 23 days until the Summer Summit. Now, that is going to kick off on the 27th and then go through the 28th. And we will start at 10 a.m. Eastern time here. That's kind of the time that we found that's easy easier for like all the different time zones because there are so many of you guys from so many different parts of the world that are joining in and we absolutely love that and we do we have a lot of people asking if we're ever going to do a like actual summit or some kind of conference with you know interaction with people and the only problem is with that with everything that's happening digitally it really gives everybody the opportunity to join in because you know it's just marking off your calendar to stay home for a weekend sometimes is hard enough. I couldn't imagine if, you know, we had uh, some type of summit that you had to, let's just say, come to like Georgia to do or North Carolina or something like that. Well, way more of our members and more of the crafty people would have to say no and have to miss out on the crafting opportunity just because maybe they live too far away or their schedules or their family just didn't really allow them to take off that much time or maybe spend that much money because you know when you talk about physical summits then you have to go and get hotel rooms and get food out and you know all this type of stuff and sometimes you have to get flights you know to fly in so it's just easier for us to do these virtual wins to know that everybody that wants to you know have fun and be on this crafty journey with us can because it's all digital so we might do those later in the future but for right now it's just so awesome to see all of you guys interacting from all different parts of the world. We absolutely love the community of it. So we really hope that you all enjoy this. And I know you will. I'm not confident. These classes are bomb. I can't wait to get there and to do this with you guys and to be there live with you guys and hear your comments and hear your you know, concerns and answer your questions. I'm excited. Um, I'm also excited for the Fall Summit. So I think we might have a link to that one. We do. Have we do not have a discount code for the Fall Summit yet. That was a lot of questions that we got yesterday during yesterday's live. Um, we do not have one of those yet. Uh, we're getting through one summit at a time, guys, okay? And I'm sure we will get a, a discount code for that one. Maybe in the future, maybe not. Since it's gearing up for Christmas and there's like a deadline, like you need to have the, all of these done by Christmas time. Um, Rachel, we have a question. Okay, sure. Hit me with it. Pam would like to know, are the supply lists for the Summer, sum for the summer Summit available yet? Yeah. Where to find them? Yeah, sure. I'll show you exactly where they are. That's a great, great question. So, Blake, if you want to switch to this other camera again, I will show. What's your name? Pam. I will show Miss Pam right where those are. So, we're going to go over to Summits. And once you're here, if you see your 2019 Summer Summit, go ahead and tap that, guys. And once you're here, you can... Uh, there's a file, so it's like why it's in, you can see the details in the files. You can tap this to get your Summer Summit supply list, and boom, here it is. It's a beautiful list of all of these uh, supplies here. And the thing is, guys, one thing that we really want you guys to know is that the supply list is there, but it's not like a mandatory thing, like if you want to switch cameras. Oh, it's yeah. not like a mandatory thing, like you don't have to look at the list. Other. Do what? I was just watching from the other screen. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. I do that all the time. Like, Tanner will just be looking over and be like, what are you doing, Rachel? And I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and you have a lot to do over there, Blake. I don't blame you at all. Don't even worry about it. But uh, it's like a guideline, the Summit uh, Supply List. So don't think of it as, well, this just says wooden frame, but I need to email 10 people and ask them what exactly size wooden frame I need. Like, don't. 
<sighs> deep breath, you know, don't overthink it like that. You know, we love that you guys are so eager to know the specifics. And I'm just going to be real with you. That's the exact crafter I am. I want to know the specifics. I want to know the exact dimensions. I want my project to be exactly like yours. But we're creative people, guys. We are crafters. We are makers. So take that and do your own thing, okay? If you want to wait and watch all the Summit videos at once and then say, okay, now that I've seen them, I know exactly what frame I want to use. I know exactly what color paint I want to use. That's fine. But if you want to go beforehand and buy all the supplies, go buy them to your crafty needs. If you want to do every project, if they call for paint, you want to do all the projects in blue paint, even if it says black and white paint, do whatever you want to do, okay? Don't feel the need to get that specific about it. Thank you for your questions and concerns, though, and we will answer anyone that uh, we happen to see if you are super concerned about something. But all of these supply lists are from all of our different teachers. It's not like I sat down and wrote every single one of them. They're all from different teachers. So all of our teachers have different standards on the classes, and you being the maker should definitely have different standards on the classes as well. So have fun with that. Have fun with the supply list. Don't overthink it. Don't get too wound up about it. Go to the craft store. Have some fun. Let that be a guideline to what you need in the project, but really go wild on size, dimension, color, shape, whatever you guys want to do because we're all crafters, you know, and I'm excited about it. I'm super excited. So go get your summer summit ticket okay that is on sale using the code summer2 at checkout summer2 and then go get your pro course because the pro course is also on sale thirty dollars off using the code pro2 at checkout you can get over 21 projects okay so many hours of training so many techniques that you guys will be able to use through your entire life the rest of your life crafting you will get this big honking book like this thing is huge and then Definitely, 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 before you get any summits, before you get any courses, e-courses, whatever, the number one way to support what we do here at Makers Gonna Learn is to become a member. Definitely go and get your yearly membership. You can get $20 off doing so using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout. So go do that, guys. You guys will not be sorry. You're already saving $48 being a yearly member compared to being a monthly member. But when you tack on... That other $20, you're saving $67, $68 being a yearly member versus being a monthly member. It is a great value. You guys will love it. And you that's get, how we get to hang out with you guys. That's, every that's day. literally how. That's how me and Blake are here right now. That's how Tanner is able to go and enjoy a week off with his lovely girlfriend, Courtney, as Perfect. they go and have vacation. The, that is how. It's how you guys support us. That's how we get to do what we do. And that's how me and Blake have the best jobs ever. That's and, very true. Rich. And thank you guys for that. We could not do it without you. So if you want to get crafty, if you love what you see here and you want to invest in your machine and invest in yourself, get a yearly membership. You get access to over 100 um, fonts, over 160. There's almost 200. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over 1,000 cut files. More are added all the time. Our last font, no, our last collection launch, the cut file launch was our biggest yet. We had over like 100 uh, collection files. It was great. You get printable guides like this one and like several more and more are always in the works, guys. We are constantly adding to our membership. But unlike our monthly and six monthly members who do get access to a lot of perks like the Facebook group, the printable guides, and all of the um, collection files, our yearly members get every single resource we have to give. We hold nothing back from our yearly members. They get it all. So if you want to jump on that boat, get that for $20 off plus the other $48 that you save being a yearly member compared to being a monthly member, okay? So that's that three months free. It's added in all together. Um, you guys will absolutely love it. Go get your pro class, pro course, go get your summit ticket, go get your membership. But most importantly, go get your membership because that's just like Blake said, that's how we're here getting to enjoy life with you guys every day. That's how you, it's the best way to support what we do. I'm really, really thankful Everyone's for all Everyone's saying they love the year membership. See, and you guys sell it for us. Like we don't really That's so true. <laughs> we don't really have to do much work. You guys just They're talking about how awesome the pro course is. Donna said that her first summit was the spring summit and it was great. She learned so much. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Loving the new mandala collection. Which oh my I gosh. Just, I've been weeding one this morning. The chameleon. The Blake chameleon. was we <laughs> Blake was weeding the chameleon at Tanner. I uh, did not quite finish after the we tried to go live on here twice on Tuesday? I think Tuesday. 
Me and Tanner tried to go live on here twice on Tuesday. If you're here in that chat, give us a thumbs up if you were um, one of the viewers from our two failed live stream attempts. And then we decided <laughs> we're just going to make this a members only live stream in the Facebook group because we don't know what else to do. So we switched over there and did a live and gave some Tanner awesome tips sad. and tricks. He, didn't get to hang out with everybody. he was so sad. We were he on was. for like he 10 minutes the first time. And I was like, oh, how was the live stream? He was like, we didn't even have one. I'm so sad. He was <laughs> sad. He said, and he doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it when those notifications don't get sent out because that's what we love to do. That's why we love these lives is because we want a lot of viewers to be able to ask all their questions. It's interactive. We want to be able to answer those questions. So for that to be down twice, Tanner was devastated. So we did about 20, 30 minute live on the Facebook group teaching how to weed the mandalas and some tips and tricks and answers of questions. And then Blake has taken over and tried to weed it. But I think we might have to pass it around the whole Makers Gonna Learn team a couple times just to see if we all can weed it. Because it is complicated and it definitely takes a little bit of uh, practice. So once that you have got that done, you're good to go. You know, mandalas, I think it's one of those things that's like, it's challenging, but it's definitely rewarding when you get it done like it's worth all the effort for sure but anyways guys it's the fourth of july i'm looking outside and there's a couple clouds in the sky yeah, it looks better than it did but it's morning. blue and it's gorgeous and the wind is blowing a little bit i love these big windows in the new it's studio. gorgeous guys this new studio it's just like it's everything i love it okay i've got like my own little parking spot and i just like whip in mm -hmm. it's and it's huge guys compared to what we had had and I think it's really humbling though it is really like every time I walk in here I'm thankful for the space we have it's not like we went from a mansion to a bigger mansion it, it we didn't but it's from just a garage to a <laughs> yeah it was a converted garage and it, it was a great space we absolutely loved it for for what we had but now moving here it's just so humbling you walk in there's just so much space there's so much potential like and we it's so beautiful then. we say okay we could have a ginormous craft table right over here you know behind the camera and we just have so much space in here so much space to work and get creative and it's it's really really awesome we're super super thankful to the lord and to you guys and to everybody for making it all happen uh so uh, we're, we're happy we're happy as locks guys and I spent way too much money at the fireworks store yesterday. Oh, me too, Rachel. So I guess we're going to go shoot a bunch of fireworks tonight and have a bunch of fun. So I hope you guys do the same. I've seen a ton of people with their boats getting ready to go to the lake because we're right here at Cherokee Lake. Uh, it's where we live. We're right, you know, like the lake's kind of all around us. So we see a ton of people going boating. We see a ton of people um, out picnicking. A ton of people are on their motorcycles enjoying the day. So whatever you choose to do, if you choose to stay home, go out, eat good, be with family, be with friends, be with yourself and your pets, whatever you want to do, be safe and have fun guys and enjoy 4th of July. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed making this adorable little iron on bin. It was fun guys. I hope that you guys run to Five Below and get yourself some, some of these cute bins. They're really cute and easy to make. I was a little intimidated at first, but you guys saw me on the live stream. I mean, it was easy peasy. But go get your pro course, $30 off using the code PRO2 at checkout. And then go get your summer summit ticket. That's $30 off as well using the code SUMMER2 at checkout. And then $20 off your membership. This is only going to extend through the weekend. That's it, guys, okay? So go get your uh, membership. If you want to upgrade, go get your uh, yearly membership. Then send us an email if you upgrade. $20 off using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout. But Blake, before we sign off here, is there any other questions, anything like that? I think we're good. Everyone's saying happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, guys. Please be safe and have fun. Me and Blake are going to go enjoy this wonderful day, and we hope that you guys do the same. So I will see you guys later, and have a great, great day. Bye, guys.